So guys, next, what we're going to do in, in chapter five, we're going to learn how to calculate price elasticity of the demand curve using a midpoint method. So price elasticity of the demand curve using a midpoint method. So remember, the formula is percentage change in quantity demanded over the percentage change in price. We're already familiar with this formula. This is how I usually um, writing it down. And the example is that when, so we have a um, demand curve for a certain product. So remember price and quantity, guys, remember demand is a downward slope in line. When the price of the product is six, quantity demanded is equal to 80. And when the price of the product is four, quantity demanded is going to increase to 120 units. So our goal is to calculate this price elasticity of the demand curve. And guys, you will have some examples on the test and on your quiz where percentage change of quantity demanded and percentage change of price is already calculated for you. But there are some examples where you will have to calculate this percentage change in quantity demanded in price. Um, and in particularly calculating the price elasticity of the demand curve, the percentage calculation is a little bit different than, you know, a classical formula of calculating the percentage change. So let's suppose we're going to start with the percentage change in price. So in order for us to find the percentage change in price, first what we need to do, we need to find midpoint mid point for our price. And to find a midpoint for our price, we pretty much need to say, what is a midpoint between four and six? Guys, and probably looking at this graph, you can just say easily that yes, midpoint between four and six is going to be equal to five. And you're going to be absolutely correct. But if there are some kind of numbers that it's hard to understand, remember, what do we need to do to find midpoint? We need to add two numbers together. I'm going to add six and four, and I'm going to divide it by two. Once again, why do we divide it exactly by two? Because we need to find the midpoint between two numbers. Since we, it's kind of like your, you know, your, well, in this situation, it's average. But um, because we're using two price points, we're going to divide this sum of these two prices by two. And therefore, it's going to be 10 divided by two is equal to five. So this is our midpoint. And now, in order to find the percentage change in price, <clears throat> Now we're going to take the difference between these two numbers and divide by midpoint. So it's a little bit different than from calculating, you know, classical formula of calculating the percentage change. So you can take either six minus four or four minus six. It doesn't matter. Just if you come up with this negative sign, then just ignore it. It take take the absolute value. I usually I usually take higher number, subtract the lower number and divided by the, uh, oh, and I'm sorry, divided by the midpoint, I apologize, I was trying to use a classical formula. So we need to divide over here by our midpoint. So, and if you go into, you know, calculate it, remember this is going to be two over five, and it's going to be uh, 0.4, remember it's going to be 0.4 or 40%. So the percentage change in price from six to four using a midpoint method, not the classical method, but a midpoint method is going to be equal exactly to 40%. So now, so therefore we know this variable, we know uh, percentage change in price. Now we need to find the percentage change um, for quantity. The same two steps that you're going to use. First, we find midpoint, midpoint for quantity demanded and again guys you can look at this graph and you probably can tell right away what is the midpoint between 80 and 120 but if you know the numbers are some kind of complicated and they have decimals and stuff like that what do we need to do the rule is that we add two numbers together and we need to divide it by two once again why do we divide by two because we're trying to find the midpoint between only two numbers so therefore we have we will have 200 divided by two and therefore midpoint is going to be equal exactly to 100 and then next step remember we're following the same what we did for our price isn't it so we're following the same what we did for our price so percentage change 
in quantity demanded. Now we're going to have to subtract these two numbers. And me personally, I usually take higher number, subtract the lower number. And we need to divide by this midpoint by 100. And if you're going to calculate it, once again, 40 over um, some kind of number, I think 50 or something like that, isn't it? So I know it's going to be, um, well, I'm sorry, 40, 40 over 100, I apologize, and it's going to be 0.4 or 40%. So, therefore, percentage change in price was 40%, percentage change in quantity demanded was 40%. Now we're going to take these two numbers and put it and plug it in, in our formula. So quantity demanded was 40%, percentage change in price was 40%, so therefore elasticity or price elasticity of this demand curve equal exactly to one. So guys, we're going to learn in the next video that this is unit elastic, okay, where the price and quantity changed in the same proportion. But from this video what you need to understand you need to understand how to calculate price elasticity of the demand curve using a midpoint method so midpoint method this is where your percentage change is not given to you you need to calculate it on its own once again i'm going to kind of to recap this first you um, if you choose to work first with quantity or first you choose to work with price just stick to your numbers to to your variable and find midpoint for your variable so we started with price so we started with these two numbers, we add these two numbers together, divided by two, and midpoint was five. Now to find the percentage change, now we take the difference between these two numbers. You can take six, six minus four or four minus six, it doesn't really matter. Just if you take four minus six, just make sure you ignore this negative sign. Just take an absolute value. And, um, therefore, we took the difference between two numbers and divided it by our midpoint over here. So we brought it all the way from here and we divide by our midpoint. So, and the same with the, with the quantity. First, we find the midpoint. It was very easy. Then we took the difference between two numbers. And remember, don't forget to divide it by midpoint. That's going to be percentage change in the other variable. Plug it into a formula and you find your elasticity.